Coming up for you on today's ATV, HS has a brand new website. Stay tuned for more on that later. Senior Superlatives voting is over, but do you know which students won which category? Actually, we don't know either, but we will talk about it when everyone will know. The HS swim team is gearing up for their new season. Be sure to stick around and find out how they plan to win this season. Welcome to the show. I'm Jonathan Moses. And I'm Alex Dooney. Today is November 2nd. Thanks for joining us for this exciting installment of ATV. ATV starts now. A man in Florida was arrested and taken into custody by the, by the FBI this past week for, spent, for sending a wave of homemade, of homemade pipe bombs to multiple critics of Trump and, all, and also the members of, Tr of the Trump administration. The, devi the devices were discovered by law enforcement on Wednesday the 23rd and once discovered there, there was a nationwide sweep to find who had sent them and, and, find more, and find more packages. The man is now in custody and awaiting trial. The midterm results are right around the corner. November 6th is your last chance to vote between Phil Bredesen and Marsha Blackburn for a Tennessee Senate state. Uh, Bredesen, a Democrat, was a previous governor of Tennessee, while Blackburn, a Republican, has been a state rep representative for Tennessee. The results of the election will be announced Tuesday, November 6th in the evening. Arlington Community Schools has rolled out a new and improved website. ATV's Austin Knuckles has the details. Hey Tigers, the Arlington High School website has undergone some big changes including a new layout and more information for students and teachers. The new changes have been completely different design and interface. Arlington students may have noticed a new school website. The revamp brings fresh life into the website with a more streamlined appearance and user-friendly interface. The new website has cool new features that offer an interesting insight into the community main page you can see like all of, all of the statistics for the high school and how many kids are graduating going to college it's kind of just a good place for everybody to look at Arlington High to be intrigued and want to come to the high school. Arlington High School's website was headed by our own CTT Shauna Seegerson with help from Ms. Roberts and Ms. Penny. The other school websites were created by each other's respective CTTs have gotten the opportunity that I get to design and build the Arlington High website. Um, all of the CTTs across the district are kind of in charge of their own schools, so that's how I got involved. The goal of this revamp was to create a more uniform look for all of Arlington schools. The Arlington Community Schools website was headed by Tyler Hill, the school board's communications director. Yeah, our communications director, Tyler Hill, does the ACS website, and he kind of like oversees all of the different websites, um, so that he, he's trained the other CTTs at all the schools on how to use it. The project has been in development since the summer, and our technology experts have worked hard to bring you the website you see now. It has been in development, I think, since the summer, and it is still an ongoing process. It's got a long way to go, and I don't know if it'll ever be 100% where we want it to be. Alongside photographer Austin Knuckles, I'm Alex Dewey. Hopefully the new website is easier and more informative for students and parents to use. Be sure to visit the website to see the new design. Now let's head back to our anchors at the desk. The hard work and dedication is apparent at Arlington High School in the most recent release of the ACT scores from the Tennessee Department of Education. The graduating class of 2018 ACT scores increased to 23.6 up in up nine from, two th from 2017 scores of 22.6. Th this was a result of both of both the students and teachers' hard work. E hard work equal equally important is that 70 percent of the students in the 2018 class scored a 21 or higher, and therefore allowed these students to be eligible for the Hope Scholarship. Th this was a four point increase from from the previous year. As a result, as a result from these recent result. As a result from these recent results, Arlington High, Arlington High School is ranked fifth in state for ICT scores. Congre congrats to all students, at, students and teachers at AHS. Attention seniors, the upcoming superlatives are currently what everyone is talking about here. With nominations already happened, we wanted to see what people had to say.
Last Friday, seniors voted on their senior superlatives. The superlatives are a fun thing that seniors do every year, so we asked how the seniors felt about them. I'd say let them be a big deal. It, it lets people who are all friends, you know, vote for each other. They got to come together to vote for one person or you won't win, so, yeah, that should be a big deal. I think they're pretty cool, yeah. Um, I would say they're needy because, you know, it gives seniors something that they can do and uh, vote for that uh, other grades can't. I don't particularly think they're needed, but I think it's just like a fun senior thing to do. I think they are needed because it's like a legacy, you know, our parents had them, like our grandparents, like it's just like a thing that's been carried down. The superlatives give the seniors a chance to reminisce their high school experience. Here is what some had to say about if they had won a superlative. Honestly, I wouldn't really care. I mean, I don't really want to win a senior superlative. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I kind of want to win one. Yes, um, I will be voting for a couple people, but that is disclosed at the moment. And now we wait for the upcoming results celebration. Back to you at the desk. Thank you, Carter. And now let's head to this week's principal problems. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hudson Criswell, and this is what's happening on today's news. On October 27th, a man armed with guns walked into a Pittsburgh synagogue and opened fire. Officials identified Robert D. Bowers as the suspect. On Wednesday, a grand jury indicted him for a slew of hate crimes. He either faces 535 years in prison or a death sentence. Please keep the victims of this horrible tragedy and their families in your thoughts. Early voting for the new Tennessee governor and Senate seat ended yesterday, November 1st. The candidates for the governor position are Bill Lee and Carl Dean. The candidates for the Senate seat are Marsha Blackburn and Phil Bredesen. The official, the official election day will take place next week on Tuesday, November 6th. If you are able, make sure to get out and vote, Tigers. On sport news, the Cleveland Cavaliers fired head coach Tyron Liu on this past Sunday. Lou has led the team to an 0-6 start for the 2018-2019 season. He will, re he will be replaced by interim coach Larry Drew. Thank you. Now back to the desk. Longtime Arlington and Memphis-based convenience store Fred's could be leaving the area soon. The store's headquarters have been based here in Tennessee, but now owners are thinking of moving the headquarters to Dallas, Texas. The company, however, has made no comments on the subject, so Fred's could be in the Mid-South for a little while longer. All right, Tigers, we are, oh, right, yeah. Tigers, we're going to take a short break. Be sure to stick around. We will be right back with more ATV. Whoa, I didn't see you there. I heard you're having trouble studying. Well, I have some tips and tricks to help you out with that. Come along. First up, make sure you find a quiet, comfortable area so that you will be able to focus while studying. Next, turn off all electronics. You don't want any distractions while you're studying. And 
lastly, take out all study material and have a great time studying and getting ready to ace the test. Hi, I'm Peyton Jones. This week for sports, we take a quick dip in the pool. Hi, I'm Peyton Jones, and this is the Arlington Swim Team. We are going to take a look at their upcoming season and an interview with Kevin Phillip. Um, what is your name? Kevin Phillips. How long have you been on the swim team? For three years. What is your goal this year? Um, hopefully to swim around the 26. Um, what is the team's goal this year? Um, team goal is probably win county and champs. Um, what do you want your personal record to be by the end of the season? Personal record, hopefully I want to swim a 26 and a 53 and butterfly around like a 25, hopefully if I can. Um, when and where is your next swim meet? Um, it's at St. George's, I believe, um, at 6 o'clock, I think, yeah. Uh, what day? Um, on a Thursday. Next Thursday? Yeah, next Thursday. Hi, my name is Cassidy Britt, and I'm here with your weather report for this weekend. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 61 and a low of 47. Tomorrow we will have a rain showers with a high of 56 and a low of 43. And on Sunday it will be mostly sunny with a high of 57 and a low of 45. Have a great weekend, Tigers, and remember to stay safe over the weekend and come back ready for school on Monday. Thanks, Cassidy. Now it's time for our special segment. Let's take a quick break. What? No, because it's um, you know, an American thing, because we're the ones who got the independence, not them.
The Arlington Tigers played their last re regular season game of the year against Collierville last Friday. Unfortunately for the Tigers, they lost 28-27. to The University of Tennessee's most recent college football game was against South Carolina. Tennessee uh, lost 27-24. to The Tennessee Titans game on October 21st was played in England. They tried for the win at the end of the game with a two-point conversion that failed and they lost 20-19 to the LA Chargers. The Grizzlies won 107-97 against the Washington Wizards last week. The Arlington football team has a playoff game tonight and they will, and they will play against Germantown at Germantown High, High School. The next ACT test, test will be December 8th, all, will be December 8th. All those seniors, some post-secondary schools might not accept those scores and will only look at the ones you have taken previ you have previously taken. Also, everyone's favorite holiday event, Christmas on the Square, is happening November 17th from, th from 3 to 7 p.m. We hope, we hope to see you there. Well, that's our show for, for today, Tigers. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join us for next week's show.